This tutorial will demonstrate how to work with your My ePortfolio within Epsilon. Once you log into Epsilon, you'll see that you have a My ePortfolio tab, groups, courses, etc., etc. Each one of these different sections are different things within Epsilon. So in this case, when we work with the My ePortfolio, this allows us to begin editing our ePortfolio and the content on the ePortfolio. Now keep in mind your ePortfolio is a website or a web address that is hosted by Epsilon. That address is given right up here. So if you were to copy and paste this link or this address into your browser, it would take you to your ePortfolio. Within Epsilon here is simply our way to go in and edit. Now when you first click on My ePortfolio, it gives you an overview of all the different things in, that you can change and the content that you can put into your ePortfolio. Then the below links allow you to do that. So if I click on contact info, then I can go in here and edit and add my contact information. I would go ahead and at least add your basic name and your email address and then below if you wanted to you could add at least a state. I wouldn't go much more specific th with that being as it's going to be viewed out on the web I would be somewhat vague but also enough that lets people know kind of where you are. Then under welcome notes is where we add your bio information, teaching interest, and career interest. Now if for some reason these links are with on there you can simply go to add new note and in this case type bio and you can edit your information here. In this case mine are already there so all I want to do is simply go in and edit. So for the my bio I come over here to the pencil click on the link and this allows me to edit my bio information. Go ahead and allow this to be set. This has my welcome note as my bio. Make sure that's checked and go in and add your bio information. I'd recommend adding a couple paragraphs of information about yourself, where you're from and the things that you like to do. Once you're finished, scroll down and hit update. Now once again, remember this is only just editing your ePortfolio. Epson allows a quick link here, the My ePortfolio, that will open your ePortfolio in another window. So from here we can take and begin seeing what our ePortfolio is looking like. As you can see here is my bio and this is what I entered in. You also can put in information, I'd like you to put information in on your teaching and career interest. Those can also be edited here. You can also upload pictures and I would like you to upload at least a single picture of yourself, a recent picture. So in that case I would add edit pictures. Here's the picture manager. I would like to upload a new picture and so go out and search for that picture and upload it into Epsilon. That way you can go ahead and select to have your picture show up. So in the members list in the class you have a picture. You can change the colors of your ePortfolio and a variety of other things. This is a general overview of working with your ePortfolio. I would recommend that you spend some time in going through the links and editing and adding information to make your ePortfolio look nice. For this class, for Text290, we are going to be using your ePortfolio blog to upload reflections and other things. So for now, we're just going to use it for this class. If later on, after the course, you want to use your ePortfolio as a means to send your information to future employers, then you'd probably want to go back and edit your information. But for now, we're simply using it as a class, and that's where we'll put content for this course.